Hey guys, what's up? It's Sovereign here. Welcome to episode 1 of Ark Survival Evolved. We will be going on great adventures. This first episode begins with me and Kaib, but Warcrys will join us later. Anyhow, let's get straight into the epic beginning of our journey. Oh shit, it's actually joining you? Don't make a retarded looking avatar. Yes, you can in this game. Yes, the character creation is oh, really no. stupid. Yeah, you'll lag for like your first two sessions playing. Because there's just such okay, mass. I can like distort the head size. <laughs> yeah, you can make some pretty funny shit in this game. Okay, so another thing, make sure on the far right that um, you have South Zone 1. That's where we'll meet up. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, hilarious, right? Herbert Hoover had the difficulty set to minimum, so the highest level dinos we will encounter are only level. This is much different from the actual servers. The actual servers spawn wild dinos up to level 150. So, I think, describe to me your, your surroundings when you. Okay, should I do download survivor or create new survivor? Uh, create new survivor. Okay, here we go. Okay, just like that. <sighs> Okay, jungle, desert, kind of the island. Whoa. What okay. the hell is this? Wow. Hmm. Okay, rock, big rock. Uh, weird bullish creature. Oh, yes, dinosaur. There are a lot. Holy crap. Okay, tree. Oh, there's like a weird crystal in one direction. It looks like a Minecraft beacon. Oh, oh like well. Sun. What color oh, there's, is it? There's two of them. Okay, there's a blue one and there's like a purple one that like connected to the sky. Okay, try it. Does the purple one have an orb in the middle yes, of it that's it going downward? It does, it does yes. Okay, run towards that. You run in this game by holding down shift. Yep, I already got that. Yep, it uses up your stamina. So it is punching things. And if you exhaust your stamina and you keep trying to do shit, you'll faint. Okay, so follow follow the water. Follow. You're on the coastline, I'd imagine, yeah? So get as close to that beacon as you can while staying right next to the water. Oh, I see you. I see you. So. Hey, big boy. Okay, Sarf Dick. What we need to do is I'm going to create a trip. Sarf Dick. So hold E when looking at my character, and then drag your mouse over the right. Oh, I see what you mean. So this game starts exactly like Minecraft. Do it! And also you have to pick up a stone with E. E is going to be your best friend button. Now go punch a tree until you get one wood and ten back. I got it. Okay, so I just dropped you a bunch of shit. Go around and pick up that. Okay, so hit I and find those red berries I gave you. Tinted berries are good for eating. You can spam E while mousing over them, or just hold it. If you're cold, I can make you some clothes. Okay, I have this specimen artifact. Yep, that's the thing in your arm. Okay, so on the bottom right, you'll see a bunch of indicator symbols. So, to drink, you run into water that's about waist deep and you hit E. Or if you have like a water skin in your inventory, you use it. Oh, I'm still getting that Thing. Oh, okay, so we need to get you more berries then. So you can hit E on these bushes a bunch. The only berries you do not want to eat are the uh, white berries and the black berries. The so black berries will knock you unconscious and the white berries will basically get you high. My hunger has even gone up. Yep, so first things first, come back down to the beat. We can talk about leveling. The, the level up that you have in your inventory, you can invest into one of your baseline stats. So health will increase your max, stamina will increase your max. Uh, melee damage is self-explanatory, movement speed self-explanatory. Fortitude is a bit of a weird one. Fortitude increases your natural armor, so you take a little bit less damage. Uh, it makes you more resistant to the weather, so you can't get cold can't. or hot. Okay, so after after you put your points in, it should give you the engram menu. Well, if you hit I and go to the very top, there should be engram points right next to 16, yes. That's how you learn that's how you learn crafting recipes. Okay, so every survivor starts with one particular blueprint, and that is a stone. So in your inventory, on the left panel, you should see inventory and crafting. You can flip between those two sorts of panels. I'll start getting us a campfire. Alright, is this a new world? Oh, that is new. It is literally fresh. Put down a nice little thatch foundation on the beach. So okay. There are two main harvesting tools that kind of are able to harvest everything, and those are pickaxes and hatchets. Pickaxes get more, respectively, of all of these. Pickaxes get more meat 
from animals, they get more flint from rocks, and they get more thatch from trees. Axes get hide from animals, wood from trees, and stone from and you'll get varying levels of each as you progress. There are also a whole bevy of weapons and other specific types of um tools, like a sickle that you can use to get fiber from the bushes. Do like rain in this game or something? Yup. Oh my bag is getting low by the way. Well, okay, so it's only bad if it's full. Wait, wait's okay to upgrade. Witness, I am man. I hunt the dodo bird with a spear. <laughs> So we can get its meat. Yes. Oh, I felt bad for that though. He's a nice guy. Yes, we can get them as we move him to campfire. We must butcher him, so I'm gonna butcher him. We got three meats. Put some wood in that campfire or some thatch. That works too. Uh also I would craft a torch pretty quick because the knights in this are dark and full of terror. Like the knights are intense. Baby steps in grasshopper, baby steps. Also, when you break tools in this game, they can be repaired for half the cost of what you built them as. You'll you'll just get a broken item in your inventory. Oh god! Oh, no! <laughs> ah! Spirit! He stole my seeds! Kill him! Uh, yeah, Bitch! I... Bitch! Oh, get out of the water, Sarf! Oh shit. Sarf, there's Tyrannus! Sarf, come back to me! Ow. Sarf! Ow. Oh no. Sarf, no! Sarf, come back to me! Oh, I just got out. I just got out. This son of a bitch! Ow! I was trying to get the body back, but. Oh, I'm starving. Back to the campfire. Oh no, we are not gonna survive this night. I have four berries. Ugh, need fire. Island very dangerous. This is the easiest zone, by the way. So do you remember which tool out of the pickaxe or axe is better for thatch? Pickaxe. It is. We need that. I'm going to start making some wool. Uh, I'm good on fiber. Thatch oh, building. Utter trash, but good in a pinch. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry about my bad mic settings. That's why this video is only around 7 minutes long. In reality, the video is actually 31 minutes. I had to cut out a lot. But yes, the rest of the episodes have good mic settings, and I am getting a new mic soon. So, hope you guys enjoyed this extra short video. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!